Hey guys, I'm LB, and apparently I lied. Unless R3 Dash customized this, but this is this is a different introduction screen. Anyway, let's play back and forth by R3 Dash. Easy, medium difficulty, laser, and funnel puzzle. I found this puzzle in my folder a few days back, but I didn't publish it at the time because I wasn't satisfied with a part of the layout. So I redesigned it now, and here it is. I'm still not entirely sure if I like it. You tell me if it's good or not. It also only has five portable surfaces. Oh no, facade flashbacks. I don't remember how many facade I have, but I think it was somewhere in the neighborhood of five. Test chamber, which involves deadly lasers, and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. I swear, if R3- Dash, If R3- Dash and Hanky Miller have both gone so quickly to Red Silencer levels of difficulty, it's gonna be- it's gonna be not too great for me. This has Hanky Miller written all over it. What the heck is happening down there? That is, uh, all kinds of messed up. So it doesn't freak out if I'm not moving at all, but as soon as I move... Oh, now it's freaking out even though I'm not moving. There's all kinds of weirdness happening down there. <laughs> Bizarre. That gets us a laser cube. Thank you. And this laser's too high for us to even use it. Wonderful. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Let's just, uh, careful now. There we go. Uh, this is not exactly how I wanted things to turn out. Personally. I mean, it'll kind of work. Not really. Didn't quite work out how I was hoping, actually. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Hmm. What was in this other room again? What? Wait, did I do it? And- but not really? What's up here? I think I need to see what's up there real quick. Interesting, what is this about? Oh! How is that silk though? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the point of this is. Oh, I missed. I missed. There we go. Well, I'm up here. So now what? Why do we have the ability to reverse this funnel? Why do we have the ability to reverse this funnel? Because we can't use it without portals. I'm so confused right now. No, come back! Oh no! Alright, well let's just, uh... Let's try my initial strategy, which may or may not be intended. But, hell if I know. There we go. Get me all the way over here. There's that much done. If, it, if that's not intended, you could just extend the gradient a bit higher. Then I can crouch under here. At this point, I think I'm, like, most of the way... done-ish? I don't, don't think there's any portal surfaces over here, right? Yeah. Just that one. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Which 
means we definitely don't have enough time to do what I was thinking of doing. That's for sure. Unless... Is the laser key pointed the way I think it is? It might be. Oh yeah, it is. So what's the lift for? I think I broke this, because I didn't need the lift. It was actually easier without the lift. Well, yeah, I guess most puzzles are easier when you don't use an element. <laughs> yeah... Yeah, I think I broke this. So... What's the intended way, then? over here again. We do this. To what avail? Oh, that is not what I wanted to have happen. There we go. Problem solved. Amazing. How did that happen? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta actually be on there. Okay, so here's the question. What portal do I place now? Do I place... Do I place the black portal here, or do I place the green portal there? Those are the only interesting options. Am I supposed to... That wouldn't make sense either, if I'm supposed to, like... No, it's not high enough for that. I was about to say if I'm supposed to, like, push the cube towards me, but it, it isn't high enough, so... Hmm... We certainly can't put the cube on this and lift it up into the funnel, because we need the cube to actually activate this in the first place. What is this for? It gets us- it gets us, the player, up here, but the- us, the player, doesn't need to be up here, necessarily. As we already saw. I think I've saved, so... That reverses the funnel, but... Why? How does reversing the funnel help anybody? Except for when we've got the cube thing set up. Like, here's another thing. I can just see this portal surface from basically anywhere, right? Yeah. So if I do that in advance... I can just completely break this puzzle. Kind of. It's a bit difficult to do it this way, but, I mean... It's the same thing, basically. Okay, that, I will admit, is much harder. I don't know... I don't know what I'm missing here. Let's go back to how I had things here. 
Oops, didn't mean to do that. Come on. We were like, we were like here, right? Yeah. I didn't want to lose the music by loading a quick save. Does the cube auto respawn? Is that what the deal is? But then that's the same thing as the way I broke it, though, isn't it? Yeah, this is literally the same as the way that I broke it moments ago. What? Yeah, it's exactly identical to breaking it. So then what are you supposed to do? Yeah, we do that. It gets us through here. We do... that. And it's the same thing as the way I broke it, by not using that at all. I think this one needs some work, because I have no idea what the intended solution is. Yeah, let's, let's just get out of here. Maybe R3- Dash can ask me to replay it when it's fixed or something. Anyway. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate Your it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye! Job. They described it as impossible, deadly, cruel, and one guess. Yeah, I think it is broken, GLaDOS.